Hey guys, um, and Rox is back here for today's channel talk. As you can see on the world I started last time, I've advanced a bit. Yeah. And I just figured out what today's channel talk will be about. It's not going to be one I like discussing. It'll be one that I think is necessary. And that topic is patience. Not just the normal patience you see everywhere, but true patience. First, I'm going to give you an example of it, so the definition is more context. Say, again, when you figure out your other problems, you, you and finally are able to relax and rest a bit. Then your dad, well, he asks you to help him with the project. Now this project isn't hard or super difficult or anything, it's just sort of really tedious doing the same thing over and over again. And once you've done that, he then asks you, he then says, okay, you'll be done in another five minutes. So, you wait five minutes. He doesn't even acknowledge the fact. Or well, they don't even acknowledge the fact. And then, like, 30 minutes later, they say you can go. And, like, perfect timing. As soon as you get right back to your computer, they say, oh, wait, sorry, I forgot. Can you help me with this thing as well? This is where you start to get a bit, I don't know, a bit more frustrated. And that's, and this happens twice. So then they finally say you're done for good. And you just don't want to believe them. Or you're just so fed up with it that you walk straight out of there without a word or you shout at them. That's because you've lost your patience with them. And by the definition of true patience, I mean by you don't get angry, you take your time, you don't dislike them for it, but you acknowledge it. This is something that I find really, really hard to a big extent. And of all the people, I should really understand that. So I acknowledge the fact that people forget things, but I still do not have the same level of patience you need. And that's what I mean. That's literally what I mean by true patience. Just not just the factor of waiting, but understanding why you wait and accepting that you may need to wait a little longer or do something for a little longer. That's the thing that I'm going to be addressing. First of all, why don't you just start off the bat with true patience? And that fact can be supported by that 
most of you watching are just probably teenagers. I don't mean like it's puberty and stuff like that. I just mean that our emotions run a little higher than usual. And given the circumstances, it's okay to be frustrated and angry. But really, I acknowledge it and I know why. I'm not saying it's wrong for you to get angry. But here's an example. Someone in this house is playing music and it's really annoying me. But I'm not going to just but wait, you can do that. Give me a sec. I can do that. Impurify. Ah, so you can only do it with certain things. Good to know that. But yeah, back to my example. Someone's playing music outside this room. And I'm just not going to barge in there and yell at them. Because A, that would probably hurt their feelings. And even though some people don't care about that. But B, though... Oh, my water bottle. It'll... A... Sort of... Well, you know their feelings and B. Would it be a really good image if you just suddenly came out of your room? And if someone came out of your room, I mean of their room, and just started yelling at you to turn it down. I mean you've had a long day and when someone's shouting at you for just wanting to relax and sit down and listen to a bit of music, it's not really fun is it? That's also what I mean by patience, but also having true patience also means having a bit of sympathy. I mean empathy. Empathy is when you don't sort of like cheer someone. Well, it's like the expression of living in someone else's shoes except you actually physically think about it. So that's the expression. Yeah. Give me a sec. Okay, I am back, if you wanted to know what just then. Well, here's what I did. I found an alternate solution to what might have happened. Say, so instead of shouting at them, I kindly asked them if I could close their door so they wouldn't have to get up. All they'd need to do is... Say yes. It's also what patience is, finding better solutions and staying calm in the face of all your, your anger. That's just what I want to talk about, managing your frustration, really, not true patience.
Yeah, I can make emerald flasks. There's no recipe for that. Oh no. Pull this one off. Make sure I am ready for another adventure. Yeah. So there are a lot of things that can happen, but managing your frustration is a key factor. If you want people to still like you. Well, not that I'm saying that people don't or anything. Oh, what am I saying? But then again, let me give you just another example. Don't want to hold your attention for too long. But let me give you another example. I... I... Say, in, you're in class, and it's the end of the day, almost three o'clock when you can go home, or whatever time you do, and the clock's just ticking down, tick, tick, you get some sort of, like, apprehension or anxiety, well, not anxiety, but you get some sort of apprehensive feeling about it. Now oh, this is, and just so, and then the bell rings. You start to like zoom home. Well, you don't zoom home, but you stand up. And then the teacher says this one line, which is sure to always get 90% of students. Stop. The bell doesn't dismiss you. I do. So you sit down, you roll your eyes internally, and you sit down. You get frustration, but you need to have patience. So that's another example. And that is really all I this talk is. Also, I'm going to include a picture of a pink sheep I found, like, just after I stop, uh, like, after I hit stop recording last episode. A pink sheep in the world. And no cap. Here, um, where's... Statistics, general, damage dealt, damage absorbed, damage blocked by shield, damage taken, Yeah, Flynn, I think that means jump. Games quit. Twice. And far. So it doesn't seem like there's something like that. Player kills. Zero. Time since last death. Time since last rest. Time with world open. Arms. You've never been killed by any of these creatures. 
So, um, that I did see a pink sheet, no cap. But yeah, that's it to end off today's channel talk. Hopefully I don't get copyright striked. And I will see you tomorrow, hopefully.